All right, everybody, I'm back. Another unboxing. Uh, a lot of stuff has been coming the last couple of weeks, uh, much to the uh, chagrin of my wallet. It has been <laughs> an expensive last couple of months. But this I pre-ordered a long time ago from Cult TV Man, and it finally showed up. I saw some other people getting theirs. And without further ado, let's open this box. And of course, since it came from Cult TV Man, it's a beautiful box to keep and save to ship other things. So here we go. What's in the box this time? You already know from the title. It is The Fly. All right, we have The Fly from Monarch. The Fly from Monarch Models. So uh, first thing I noticed, this is not shrink-wrapped. Came just like that. So that is a beautiful box. Look at this thing. Great artwork, flip it around to the back. More great stuff there. That's I, that's unexpected. Some really cool artwork there from other model kits they have avail available. And let's just see, let's flip the camera down and see what we got in the box, in the box. I'm gonna try not to drop stuff. I know Spike loves it when I break things and mangle things. Uh, wow, that's weird. Okay, how does it open? Opens, oh. There's tape. There we go. And it is a flip top. Sprue. 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 I like the colors. And sprue. And sprue. All right. Uh-oh. Got something there. All right. Let me get this out of the way. Let's start with this. We got the Monarch Fly plastic assembly kit. And inside... Part list, directions, where things go. I'm really liking this. This is, again, kind of that old timey feel to it. Uh, I like the subtle colors placed on here. Um, how many parts total? Uh, steps, parts total, there's quite a few. Uh, it's 1A scale. Uh, some spiders, some flies. Ooh, look, the little fly. It comes with the fly with the person that's pretty cool i have to find that on the spruce so then when we got around to the back the back shows it built and paint up what a cool little kit oh i love this okay the fly from monarch build and paint your model any way you want but first read the general instructions on the back of the page some really cool stuff some nice uh some nods to the kit there oh Good instruction kit. And I love that. It's a great, almost poster-like. That's what it feels. Smells postery. Smells postery. Okay, let's get into the sprues. So, again, I'm going to open them. I don't care. Starting with this. We got the orange sprue. That's a cool color. I like that color. Uh, this is arms, coat, shoes. It's kind of hard to pick up and see detail on it with the color and the camera. Let me, now I'm going to in a little more here with that color and the way the camera works but looks like everything will go together nicely next oops that's already off the spruce so this has come off a little bit uh it's showing a brighter red on camera than it actually is and that's probably my setting somehow it's a little bit darker red than this four pieces this is coming off so i'm trying to be careful this one's come off a little bit too uh the well, that came off completely. So let's just check. For people that do get theirs, if it does come off like that, it's not torn or chipped. There's a nice, it came off pretty pretty easily. And with, you know, some sprue cutters that are really nice, you can just get in there and snip off any extras or sand it. Shouldn't have a problem. So be careful with your pieces. I don't want to lose anything because I'm good at that. Next sprue. This one has a piece coming off as well, so I'm trying to be careful. Um, I wonder, was shrink wrap, no shrink wrap on the box, just cutting cost? I know this Games Workshop is starting to do that too. I'm all for that. I, I know collectors who want that box perfect probably aren't gonna be happy with that the box isn't shrink wrapped, but I, I think in the long run, not to sound like a wacko, but you're helping the environment a little bit and you know, it's just more garbage. It's just more garbage when you already have so much plastic here to throw out. Ugh. 
All right, so what came off? What is this? Oh, a piece of the computer. So this is off and that goes right there. And again, this is much, I knocked the saturation down on my camera a little bit to try and get a little bit, that's a little closer to what it looks like in real life. It's just, I think the way the light is hitting it and reflecting it, but this is, looking at this is pretty close to real life with a color wise. So this sprue has the ax, some books, a book, uh, another that goes with this. I'm not sure. I have to go back and look. Uh, a tie. I like that the tie's bent, giving it a sense of motion. That's pretty cool. Instead of just straight, that would look pretty dumb. Uh, floor base. So some cool stuff there. All right. Let's move on to the next sprue and not losing a part. This is where things are going to get a little more interesting. This is a little bit brighter blue, I think, in comparison. Uh, you have, I'm guessing, these are the fly's eyeballs. Uh, some little feeler things, uh, mandibles, spider, mouth, more like antenna, nostril things, the hand hook things, uh, nameplate is on this sprue, this piece, the regular hand, uh, claw part, I think. Uh, I'm looking for that little fly person. Is that on here? That's the little fly guy right there. So that's pretty cool. I'm guessing those are the wings that go with it. Another spider. Yeah. All right. So you have to put that together. Oh boy. Look at those tiny little joints. So, all right, there's the blue sprue and back to an orange sprue. All in all, the, together, this looks, I like this kit. And there we go. There's the rest of the body, two halves of the pants. The seam's in a good place because it'll kind of look like the seam on the pants anyway. So you don't have to worry about that. And the jacket part, I could go back to that. Looks like it's going to connect on there pretty well. They pull that out. So we have the jacket kind of goes together this way. Kind of pops in there. So yeah, that's not a bad seam, actually. That's not going to be a bad seam. So all in other, like all together, pretty cool kit. I like that there's a lot to it. It's not just a simple figure. You got a pretty decorative base there. Very reminiscent of old style Aurora kits but I don't think anybody could go wrong. The price, I mean, it's a little, let me get it back over here. The price is a little expensive uh, for what it is, but I think I, I, that's just the going price these days for any sort of model kit. Um, I think it's worth it. I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, if you can, let me back this out a little bit. If you can pick up the fly, great kit, some really cool painting options. You could do it like this, do some OSL lighting. Um, and, and be kind of artsy about it. Try and get as you know close to like the movie as you want. I really like the colors in here though. This looks, I like how this is done. Uh, well done on the box art and couldn't be happier. That's it. The Fly from Monarch, everybody. The Fly from Monarch, everybody. Take care, we'll see you next time.